On May 30, 2017, the U.S. Army officially asked industry for information on a new 7.62x51mm rifle The request signals the Army's intention to begin moving away from the 5.56x45mm M16 and M4 that have been the ground combat branch's main firearms for generations. The Army's RFI comes hot on the heels of the U.S. Marine Corps' own RFI for a new off-the-shelf infantry rifle. But the Army's so-called interim combat service rifle could be a stopgap a weapon the service buys quickly while it considers longer-term solutions to its firearms needs in the short term, the ICSR could complement the 7.62mm M14, itself a stopgap. The RFI should not be construed as a request for proposal or as an obligation on the part of the government to acquire any services or hardware. The Army stated the service just wants to know what 7.62mm rifle designs are available The Army hasn't set aside any funding for buying or testing a new weapon yet. So what is the Army looking for? The RFI requests commercial, readily available designs with 16 or 20 inch barrels, the ability to fix muzzle devices capable of flash and sound suppression, fully ambidextrous controls, a rail system, optics mounts and an adjustable buttstock. The RFI also requests backup iron sights, an overall weight of less than 12 pounds and a minimum magazine capacity of 20 rounds. The Army's fresh interest in a larger caliber firearm reflects recent combat experience in Afghanistan, Taliban fighters armed with Russian-made 7.62x54mm weapons frequently outranged US and NATO troops. Another problem is modern ceramic body armor which the current 5.56mm round might struggle to penetrate but the firearms blog speculated that the problem lies with the composition of the current round, not its size. For a 7.62mm rifle to be effective, it must fire not the current M80A1 round, but a tungsten cord armor-piercing round such as the M993 or the upcoming XM1158 ADVAP, which almost certainly also has a tungsten core, the blog noted. This first appeared in War is Boring Here.